Yes, <laughs> donating blood does save lives. That yeah, we also, know for sure. They have a uh, like loyalty program where if you donate yeah. within the eight weeks that you're eligible, like mm -hmm. after you've donated, mm -hmm. then you get like loaded onto their donor like rewards program, oh, and then they send out these raffles and surprises and like. One, Look at I that. mean, I had been donating. <laughs> I think I donated like two or three times in the last year, and awesome. I got like a ten dollars Chipotle gift card. Well, hey, awesome. okay, like yeah, full, guacamole. So, there let are me some tell you, props. for full disclosure, I am so afraid of needles. Mm -hmm. I have been my entire life yeah. so even when I go like just to take blood for yeah. myself right like I have major it's a anxiety. Lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Okay. So okay. you do really well, I will say, because yeah. I don't. I'm not a big fan either. But yeah. of covering up everything that's yeah, going yeah, on while you're down. there. You know, look, uh -huh. they all in the in the vans, like the you know the mobile ones. Yeah. They play movies. Yeah, so it's see exactly. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they <laughs> just at the yeah. Gateway Center, they mm -hmm. have ice cream when you're done. <laughs> oh, okay. And so like every time I'm just like, oh, I'm just going for this ice cream after. <laughs> You've <laughs> almost convinced me. <laughs> exactly. I know, right? I'll get you there. You can do it. As Netta mentioned on the website. There are so many appointments available, so uh, good. Uh, it just makes you feel good. Not to mention, you get some some swag along with it. Twelve ten right now on the dot. The fog that we had to start off the morning has mostly subsided, but in some spots we're still hanging out with it a bit. The view outside from PB shows we have a little bit of haze out there. Some fog that is still residing mainly along your coastline. Going to be clearing out over the next couple days. We do have onshore flow continuing in a, a weak coastal eddy. This could prompt another day tomorrow of fog, but it likely will not be nearly as dense as it was this morning. We have that dense fog advisory that expired at 10 a.m. Satellite radar imagery has been doing pretty well over the last hour or so, but you can see how some of those clouds have started to push farther south toward about the southern half of the county while clearing up to the north. Oceanside and Carlsbad seen some steady improvements. Kearney Mesa still at four miles of visibility. We're going for a perfect 10 and we are not there quite yet, so still some struggle across the board. Temperatures also haven't warmed up all that much thanks to the cloud cover, but we've made it to about the low and mid 60s along your coastline. Otherwise, upper 50s were the case all the way until about 9 and 10 a.m. where we started to see some changes. Now for the rest of your day, we're going to make it to the upper 60s for your coastline. 66 and 68 degrees, that's about the estimate for your greater coast. 74 inland, 64 for the mountains, and 88 for the deserts. Looks like those temperatures are just a few degrees shy of average for this time of year, and we should be seeing a mix of sun and clouds as those clouds do start to subside. One of the mountain views shows even some high clouds joining us. So we have that mix of low and high clouds. That means that even into tomorrow, like I mentioned, we could be sticking with those partly cloudy conditions at times. Looking at your highs for this afternoon, we've got upper 60s for the coast. Like we mentioned, 68 is pretty much where we'll rest. But you got even some mid 70s pushing farther inland. Ramona and El Cajon, those are pretty comfortable temperatures out there in the mid 70s, meaning that they are going to experience more of that clearing of skies and then allow for the sun to warm them up pretty nicely. Now. As we go through the rest of the week, that cooling could really continue. Fallbrook is looking at a high today of 71 degrees, 73 for Alpine and 68 for Julian. Off toward your deserts, we're looking at highs in the mid and upper 80 degree range. And then the cooler temperatures really do continue from here. So along your coast, we're really only going to cool by a few degrees, but we could make it all the way down to the low 70s inland as opposed to 75, where many of your inland valleys are for today. We have a nice warm up from Saturday into Sunday where we jump about seven degrees inland. That'll continue for your mountains and your deserts as well, where they'll get a little bit of a jump in temperatures over the course of the weekend, but otherwise cooling trend through the rest of your week. And then it looks like those cooler temperatures continue even into next week.